What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Abs Iggy. Welcome back to my channel. Listen, before we get into this other story time, first thing I need you guys to do is make sure you subscribe right now. Turn on your post notifications, give me a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts. Comment away. But listen, this story time is going to be a small little continuation of my previous story time. So for those of you that ain't watched my previous story time, make sure you pause this one right now and go back and watch it. Because I'm going to be talking about the same girl. The same girl that I was seeing ended up slapping me in the face with a bunch of flowers and I'm going to tell you right now. So let me just give you a, a brief recap of the kind of situation I was in with this girl. So I met this girl on Instagram a few years ago now. Um, she, how I met her, she commented something really inappropriate underneath one of my comments. I ended up sliding into her DMs, and we got dating, we got talking, and we started getting along. So, um, she had this crazy ex, um, like I said, this is my previous story time, so you know about that, um, who was always on her case from the whole time that I've seen her. Um, so yeah, we'll see each other now, uh, me and this girl, and we got on really well. Now, leading up to Valentine's Day, so. Um, I took her out for Valentine's Day, um, as previously stated. And actually, one thing I didn't mention to you guys was what I actually got her on Valentine's Day. So, I must have went to a card factory. You guys know about card factory. They have the big cars, little cars. Kind of ready-made hampers and little gift sets. It's quite a cute place to actually go to. Um, I had actually gone there. And what I actually bought her for that Valentine's Day was this ready-made hamper. So, it had like a little, I think, little teddy bear in it. It had like some sweets. Um, a little card that came with it. It was just quite cute, you know. I didn't want to go too, too ham um, because at this point I'd only been seeing her for a brief amount of time, maybe like two months. Um, but because I kind of wanted to treat her, I thought I'm going to do something a bit sweet. But also as well on that day, I had bought her a bunch of flowers. So um, when this girl that I was seeing took her out for Valentine's, gave her the flowers, gave her the gift and she absolutely loved it. Um, and obviously, you know, a mad situation happened with her ex um and that was that so basically after that whole situation now with this girl and her crazy ex so you know she kept basically reassuring me that there's nothing going on with her ex um and that was all put to bed and you know for the most part i did believe her um but i was still a little bit cautious just because you know it, it got to a point where it became really annoying so as we kept seeing each other and the small small feelings were getting invested now at this point um the ex was just a bit of a fawn really in my side um she just kept calling and stuff like that and um you know I, it was just one of those things that either you deal with it or you kind of walk away from it but like I said I was still giving her a benefit of a doubt um so what actually happened was um one day actually she came I went over to hers and she was basically like oh I went to this party last week um so at this point we're probably about two and a half months in almost three months now coming up to our seeing each other um, which is kind of like a, you know, a territory of actually, where's it going to go? Are we going to carry and see each other? Um, so at this point, you know, she was the person that I was talking to a, a lot more. Um, obviously, in the early stages, it's a little bit difficult. You know, sometimes you have people that you may have been talking to, this and that. But once your feeling starts um, developing a bit more for someone, you know, it becomes, OK, what's going on? You know, are we going to take this further, basically? So that's what was kind of happening with me and her, you know. I knew that I still needed more time to see how I felt about her. But, you know, up until this point, she kept going on about relationship, being official and this and that. And I kind of refused to not be forced into anything. So anyways, one day I went over to her place and she was like, look, I've got this friend that I went to a part with last week. And I was kind of like, just general chit chat. Okay, how did it go? She was like, it was good, but it got a little bit weird. So I was like, why did it get weird? She was like... She just went in and kissed me. So I was like, what do you mean she kissed you? Like a friendly kiss or, you know, a girl's just a bit weird on a night out sometimes. They just get drunk and kiss each other. She was like, no, like she proper kissed me, like fully and went for a snog. I was like, okay, like obviously what did you stop her or you know, what's the issue with that? She was like, no, we just kissed. Um, and at this point I was a little bit confused. I was like, so uh, I don't understand, like, is this more than a friend or, you know, is this someone you've been with before? And she was kind of like, no, I didn't know that she liked me like that. I was like, OK, so how come you kissed her back? Because I said, like, I've got a friend. I don't really kiss my friends like that. Um, and she's like, I just don't know. So in my head, I'm not going to lie, like, this girl was a little bit manipulative. Like, on reflection of a lot of things, she was quite manipulative. And I knew that because she kind of wanted more from me. I don't know whether she was lying or just kind of said that just, just to get a reaction out of me, try and make me jealous and that, or just kind of say, look, I've got options here. Um, so 
I kind of just thought, okay, I was a little bit annoyed because I said to her, look, you're going on about being official, me taking you seriously. I said, you've got this crazy ex that's still like a leech, you know, she won't piss off. And now you're doing things like this. So I'm like, how would you expect me to now trust you? You know, like, how can I trust you moving forward and want to, you know, become more serious with you if you're just running around kissing people like nothing? She's like, yeah, I know, blah, blah, blah. I'm upset about it. I was like, you're upset? Like, what about me? Kind of thing. Um, so just kind of left it at that. It made me a bit more weary of her, but I just thought, you know what? It, it, it's still what it, it is, what it is, like, kind of thing. I, I weren't trying to stress about anyone at these times. So fast forward now. So we we're getting on now. It was definitely past three months, three and a half month stage. And definitely in my head now at this point, I was thinking, I do like this girl. Um, so I need to kind of start making decisions here because people ain't going to wait around forever, you know? Um, so she said to me, you know what? Um, I got this photo shoot coming up. I was like, okay, like what kind of photo shoot? She's like, actually it's a music video for an upcoming rapper. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Like, um, I was asking like who the rapper was. Um, I can't really remember who it was at the time actually, but she was like, oh, he's really like on an upcoming, on a rise and it's a big opportunity for her. Like I said, she's done modeling. She used to do like video shoots. And listen, before I actually, you know, kind of started developing any sort of feelings for her, she did tell me she'd done like nude stuff. Um, you know, and I'm a big believer in you take people as they come. So if that was an issue for me at the beginning, I wouldn't have carried on seeing her. So I was fine with that, you know, I knew that was her, her career, her future. This is the stuff that she wanted to do. Um, so I was cool with that. And she actually got this video shoot anyway. So um, she went to the video shoot and we actually arranged to meet up later on in that evening. So I was going to go around to hers. So anyways, fast forward now, I must have went to her place and I was kind of like, yeah, how was the video shoot? And she was like, um, yeah, it was really good, you know, it was like a really good day because she was literally out for like the whole day. I was like, oh, like, what kind of stuff do you have to do? She was like, there was a lot of girls there and we had to be like really sexy and stuff. And I was like, yeah, like tell me more kind of thing. And she was like, yeah, um, it was really raunchy and there was a lot of pain and a lot of water. Um, and we were like just dancing around the rappers and stuff like that. You know, typical stuff that, you know, if you watch a music video now, you'll kind of see. Um, and then she was like, but it got a little bit too raunchy. I was like, what does that mean? She was like, we had to do stuff. And at this point, like, I'm kind of looking at her thinking, what's going to come out of this girl's mouth now? Because I can just sense that she was hesitating. I can just sense that she didn't feel too comfortable. Um, but at the same time, it was kind of like... Like, I didn't know what she was going on about, so I wanted to know. So I was just like, like, what happened, basically? What did you exactly have to do? She's like, oh, I had to, like, touch some girls and kiss and stuff. So I'm just thinking, this girl, like, always kissing people, innit? Um, I'm like, okay, like, what kind of kiss? Just kissing the lips and stuff? She's like, yeah, we had to, like, kiss and we had to proper make out. I weren't too angry or bothered at this point because I thought, okay, it's a job kind of thing. So I understood that it was her kind of job and something she had to do, but I knew there was more to the story because she was just looking shifty as hell. So I was like, what actually happened? Like, tell me what happened. She was like, oh, you know, so after we being like kissing each other and making out, we had to touch each other. I was like, obviously like inappropriately, right? She was like, yeah. I was like, and what else? And she was like, they just made us do stuff. I'm thinking, is, what's wrong with this girl? Like, I'm like, just tell me, like, tell me. You've already told me most of the story at this point. Like, what are you hiding, isn't it? And she was like, oh, they made us, you know, like, you know, do stuff orally. I was like, what? She was like, yeah, like, we, we had to eat each other out. I was like, I was like, what? You had to eat each other out. I was just like, you didn't go to a video shoot. You're doing up Pornhub, mate. You're you're doing Pornhub. That's not a video shoot. How? How? How can you go to do a rapper's video shoot and you're eating each other out? I felt sick. I was like, are you actually all right? I was like, hold on. You can go and do Pornhub videos, and you think you're gonna come back here and what and do stuff with me? I was like, are you actually tapped? Are you actually, are you tapped, or are you tapped, tapped? And then she was just like, what? What's wrong with that? I was like, what's wrong with that? Uh, I'm not going to lie, my blood started rising. I started getting pissed. I started, I was fuming. So I'm just thinking, 
how the hell are you eating people like strangers? You don't even know what, what rock they crawled up from under. You don't even know where anyone has been. And you're at a photo shoot, Pornhub shoot, eating out girls and touching each other and doing stuff. And the thing is, I still feel like she was lying to me. I feel like there was still more to it. So I'm not going to lie. I was pissed. I thought, I'm here being loyal abs, good girl abs, trying to cheat this girl well. And she's up here doing the maddest things, like embarrassing me. I switched. I switched. I flipped my lid. I'm not going to lie, people. I went in on this girl. I was like, you're disgusting. You're an embarrassment. I was just like, and the thing is, yeah, her dad, so her dad was a pastor, right? Her dad was a big, big pastor down here. Yeah? I ain't going to say nothing, but her dad was known. And she come from a good family, guys, a good family. Now, I'm not saying people that are in the porn industry are bad people, but that's disgusting, bruv. Like, she's not even... I don't even know if she got paid for that. I remember I asked her as well about if she got paid for it. And she's like, oh, it's good promotion. So I'm thinking you're eating out girls for free. Like, it's nasty, bruv. I was pissed off. So, I, oh, man, I'm not going to lie to some shit to her. I, I was just like, you're disgusting. You're a disgrace, your family. I was like, no wonder you're here on your own. And, like, you had to leave your own city. I was like, you're filthy. I said, me now, I'm going to have to take myself to the clinic because of your dirty nastiness. I said, you're dirty, yeah? I was like, leave me alone. I was like, from this day forward... Do not talk to me. You are foul. Foul play. And I said, furthermore, take yourself to the clinic five times. Because that is disgusting. I was so pissed and I was saying all sorts of stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'm out of here. Like, I ain't staying here at all. So I remember I had the flowers on her on her desktop. All the gifts that I got her. The cards. Everything I had got her. And that kind of built up over, you know, the time we've seen each other. I walked over. I was like, I'm going to take my stuff and I'm going to leave. Because I don't want nothing to do with you. So I remember I grabbed my flowers. Grabbed all the gifts I got her, everything I got her, and I remember I was holding like this. And I started turning around and walking away. Got to the door, realised I can't open the door because I got all this stuff in my hands. And I thought, what the hell am I going to do with this stuff? I'm not going to keep it. So I was like, actually, you know what? You can keep it. I put it back down. And then she saw, she switched. So she was from up north. She was like, you're effing disgusting. How dare you talk to me like that? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? She's like, no, you want to leave? You want to take stuff? Take your stuff. She grabbed my stuff, dashed it at me. She's like, take your stuff. Grabbed the flowers, went bang. I was like, oh. And, and you know flowers, they have little bits on it, little stems and that. One of them hit me in my eyes. So I was like this. Like this will rub my eye. She's like, you're disgusting. You're disgusting. I don't think you are talking to. Who are you talking to? Who is? She started screaming like her voice was escalating. And then again, I'm hearing people come out. So I'm like, no, like you're dirty. Like you're dirty. Like who do you think you're talking to? You ain't talking to me like that. I said, you're the one that's immoral. And you're the one that's done me dirty. I wouldn't do that to you. She's like, no, you're disgusting. To the flowers again. Bang. I was like, oh. I was like, you know what, I need to leave. I was like, you know what, take the stuff, man. I don't even want it. You can have it. She's like, no, you take your stuff. She's like dashing sweets in my head, cards in my head. I'm sure the card hit me at one point and gave me a little paper cut in my ear. Anyways, I walked out the door now, um, walking up her corridor to get out. All I hear is screaming from her. Da -da -da. She must have got the phone. Da -da 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 -da, cussing my friend. I don't know who this girl thinks she is. You can hear it. Everyone was out there accommodation room at this point. You can hear her screaming, going absolutely sick. I was like walking away, and as I was walking away, I did feel a little bit bad. I thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said those horrible stuff to her. So I started walking back, so I thought, let me at least apologise, not leave it on bad terms, but I weren't going to for this girl again. So I walked back, all I hear is even more, she's foul, who is she talking to? Red, da, 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 da. Red, da, da, I don't know who she thinks she is. So I, I, and I'm more, I was listening outside her door now at this point, and I thought, this girl is cheeky, you know. She, she's an actual dickhead. Like, uh, my whole tone switched again. I was like, this girl's a dickhead. A qualified dickhead, yeah? First class honours in dickheadness. I text her. I was like, I can hear your loud mouth. And then she said, hold on on the phone. I was like, oh, sh she's coming. So I ran. I ran up the corridor. She came out. Where are you? Come to my door now. Come to my door now. You're far out. Just screaming, like someone shot her mum or something like she was just going absolutely sick on me um but yeah like she slapped me up with them flowers man it weren't nice i did feel bad for what i said but at the time i was pissed and i think most people would be pissed and if you won't be pissed at that then you're lying you're a liar
But um, yeah, fast forward a little bit later, she actually apologised to me a couple of weeks later. Basically wanted to try and reconcile. Um, I was like, not in this lifetime or the next, so nope, basically. But yeah, guys, that's it, man. She slapped me up in the face. But listen, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, away. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs>